In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Good people of God, you are listening to Catholic Meditation this day, Tuesday, the 19th of September, 2023. It is Tuesday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is the memorial of St. Januarius, Bishop and Martyr. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 3, verses 1 to 13. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 101. The response to the psalm is, I will walk with blameless heart. The gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 11 to 17. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus went to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. And he came and touched the bier, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, Arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak, and he gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen among us, and God has visited his people. And this report concerning him spread through the whole of Judea and all the surrounding country. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Be Humane. Have a human touch to life. Be Humane. Have a human touch to life. Dear friends in Christ, we are human beings and not some stones or pieces of wood. As such, we are social and live in community with others, other human beings. Therefore, we must be humane and must have a human touch to life. We should be concerned about others, other human beings, to share in their life, to weep with those who weep, and to rejoice with those who celebrate. We should treat others as human beings. Some people can be very inhumane. They are like animals with no souls. They treat others as though they were not human. Some people are very mean, even as to deny basic human needs such as food and water to fellow human beings. Some have cut themselves off from society and do not relate with others. Whatever is happening to others is not their concern. The many wars we fight, the many problems in different countries, villages, groups, associations, etc., 
are all on account of our inhumanity to fellow humans. If only we were concerned about others to feel as others feel, and if only we saw the image of God in other human beings and treated them as such with dignity and respect. The gospel message becomes practical only when it is lived by showing concern to fellow human beings. Why do you think the Good Samaritan is praised even till today? It was because he was humane and came to the aid of another human person even when all others had passed him by. And why do you think the rich man is castigated? It is because despite his riches, he was inhumane to poor Lazarus. Dear good people of God, our going to heaven depends on how humane we have been to others. In today's gospel passage, Jesus demonstrates his humaneness, that is, his quality of compassion and consideration for others. He went to the city of Nain, and behold, there was a young man who had died about being buried. His mother was a widow, and the deceased was the only son of his mother. We are told, when Jesus saw her, he had compassion on her. Being humane, he did not know her. He did not need to know her. He was a human being and felt for the woman, another human being. He put himself in her shoes. Imagine her pain. Do not weep. Those were Jesus' words to her. What was life for that widow without her son and without her husband? And we remember that in a typical Jewish society, women were not counted. So it meant life had ended for her. No son, no husband. But Jesus brought her son back to life. He brought joy to the widow. And not only to her, but to all the mourners. Now, beloved, let us ask ourselves, what can you do and what do you do to make others feel better? What can you do and what do you do to make others feel that they are human? To how many have you said, like Jesus said to the widow, do not weep and you dry off their tears by doing something to make them feel better. Do you feel the pain of others? Do you weep with those who mourn? And do you rejoice with those who celebrate? Are you human or have you lost that human touch? In truth, I tell you, there are some human beings but who are worse than animals. Dear God's good people, we are human and you must have a human touch to life. Do not be a sadist, rather inflicting pain on others and rejoicing to see others suffer and in pain. In fact, an African proverb says, he or she who has people has wealth. This is where the golden rule comes in. Do unto others what you like done to you and do not do to others what you don't like done to you. Remember that when you die, you will not take yourself to the morgue. You will not take yourself out of the morgue to your own burial ground. Neither will you bury yourself. You will need people to do all this for you. Therefore, the need to be human, the need to act humanely towards other human beings. But there is another twist in as much as people have to be humane, we too, who need people to act humanely towards us, have to be sincere. There is the need to be sincere. There are many people 
who have acted humanely towards others only to discover that they were scammed or that they were fooled. And it is very painful to feel that you have been used. People have been deceived. And when they acted nicely, they only discovered that they were scammed or that they were fooled. Beloved, when you need help and people come to you, let it be sincere. If they discover that you have fooled them or scammed them, you make it difficult for them to act humanely even to others who may be truly genuine. It is therefore they need to be sincere because there are people who really do have but who pretend not to have. And when it is discovered that they acted and fooled, it is very painful. Remember the story of the man who cried wolf. When he took his sheep to the mountain to graze them, he shouted wolf, wolf, and people came out to his rescue, only to discover that they had been fooled. He did it a second and a third time and even the fourth, and people came out only to discover that they had been fooled. The fifth time, oh, poor him. This time, in truth, wolves came to devour his sheep. And when he cried out, wolf, wolf, no one came out because they said to themselves, ah, it might just be another scam. And only when he needed help the most, the people failed to come out. Truly, there are people who have come out to help you but discovered that you truly do not need help. And it turns out so sad that when you truly need the help, people begin to consider the many things you would have done and refuse to help you. It is therefore that in as much as we are human beings, there is the need to be sincere and to be transparent. Do not scam people when they come out to act humanely towards you. Now imagine that Jesus saw this crowd and the people mourning and he came to help and discovered that he was fooled, that the boy had not actually died. How do you think Jesus would have reacted? The need therefore to be sincere. Do not make people feel that they have been used or that you have fooled them when they came out to act humanely towards you. Or imagine taking the story of the good Samaritan that he came out to help only to discover that it was all a scam. That man lying there had not actually been beaten by robbers, but it was all a game, rather, to steal from him. How do you think, when he saw some other person lying down who truly needed help, do you think that he would have gone to help? As it is said, once beaten, twice shy. So let us also, in as much as we need people to act humanely towards us, let us be sincere, so that people do not feel fooled, used, or scammed. Januarius was the bishop of Benevento near Naples in Italy. He suffered martyrdom together with three deacons and some lay people during the persecution of Diocletian in the year 305. He is venerated in a special way in Naples where his relics and blood are kept. We wish a happy feast day to all those who go by the name Januarius and to institutions named after him. Be humane, have a human touch to life, for we are human and are going to heaven depends on how humane we have been to others. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.